Welcome to the February Top Styles Triumph of the Month Award presentation. Our nominees are Namani Nandolo, Richard Wigglesworth and Guy Porter. Over to Andrew Wilkinson, who is the Director of Finance at Top Styles, to announce the winner. Thank you very much. Yeah, delighted to be here on behalf of Top Styles to award the Triumph of the Month Award for February. Um, with over 74% of the votes, I'm delighted that this, this was the, the preferred try. Um, the try winner is Guy Porter for his try against Gloucester. Guy. How you doing, Andrew? Thank you very much. Cheers, mate. Yeah, no problem. It was an absolutely fantastic try. I mean, for those who are a big ball over from Dan Kelly, you were sort of charging to the line, two defenders, somehow managed to take some contact, stay in play, launch, twist, knock the ball down. An absolutely amazing try. So talk us through it from your perspective. Oh, yeah, well, as you say, um, obviously the forwards have been working quite hard and tight. And then when we pull the trigger to go wide, we, we've, we've got to uh, justify it. So Freddie did uh, did well to shift the ball to DK. And then, um, yeah, as you say, it was, a, it was a great ball from DK to find the space. And, uh, yeah, got a, bit, got a bit lucky. I think it was a, it was a tight one, but um, fortunately got it down. Got a bit lucky. I don't know about that. It was a brilliant finish. How's that ranking tries you have scored? Oh yes, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's right up there. I think I was I was happy with that one. I had had one rubbed out there, so I was nervous um, waiting. But uh, yeah, I was I was thankful for that one. That's good. Great stuff. And I know you've been nominated for Try the Month a few times, so you've you've won it. Brilliant. And how does it feel knowing that it's been voted for by the fans as well? Oh yeah, it's very nice to know. Um, obviously, we we had a we had a good month. We you know we we um, started to layer in some stuff in our attack and. Um, we're obviously always trying to improve our, well, particularly our points zone attack and how accurate we can be. So there were some good tries across um, across the month, and we started to get some pay out of that. So uh, yeah, it's, it's positive moving forwards. Brilliant. And, and you, you mentioned a great month. I mean, it's just been an amazing season. How's that season felt for you? Uh, yeah, really. Um, I mean, it's it's been good. The last little period, obviously, where we've. Um, you know, been tested with guys uh, in and out of international squads, lost, um, you know, a fair few guys, um, if not for, for the weekend games during the week um, to England. And um, it meant a lot of guys could step up over that period. Um, and now, obviously, with Prem Cup on as well, it's, it's testing the depth of the squad. So it's uh, it's a point in the year where we, um, you know, we've got Exeter, then London Irish in the space of a couple of days now. So, so we're going to be tested. Um, and then we get a bye. And then, and then we obviously... Uh, boot back up again to to fire into the rest of the year, but at, at the moment we've we've just been trying to improve week to week, and um, I know that's sort of rolled out there, but it's, it's the truth, and it's positive when we can see the growth um, from what we've been training and what we've been identifying and trying to coach one another along, and and um, obviously well led from the top down. So enjoying it. Yeah, but and, and I mean it has been one heck of a sort of a, a sort of step up in performance over the season. Any anything one particular that's sort of taken that forward, or just a combination of things? Uh, no, I think it would it'd be too difficult to say one particular thing. I think you know we, we've been um, the coach has done a, a great job um, of building a really competitive squad, and I think throughout the whole year um, there's been great competition for spots and and even at training as well. Um, pushing one another, but but in a way that's um, collaborative, I suppose. And I think uh, there's a really good buy into the fact that, um, you know, what we, the performance we can put out on the weekend is a reflection of, of what the whole squad's put in throughout the week and, and week on week as well. So, so uh, you know, when we've got that sort of um, culture, I suppose, it's, uh, it's an enjoyable one to be part of and, and it's an ambitious group. So um, uh, we're going okay and, and we've got some areas to improve on, but we're enjoying it as, as we go. Uh, but then a couple more things. So I guess you say sort of being great for the group. It also feels like there's been a real connection with the fans this year. I mean, really big crowds, really great atmosphere. How's that felt to play in front of? Oh, fantastic. As you said, I mean, I, I've said before, I think I, I got to the club um, as the season restarted without fans. And um, that was was almost, I suppose, a year of, of that, which was, um, yeah, night and day between the experience uh, of playing, you know, in, in you know, great stadiums and against great sides, but to have the fans um, at Welford Road is, is an awesome um, atmosphere. But as well, you know, the numbers that travel to games and the familiar faces we see week and week make it such a special um, team to be a part of and, and a club with that sort of following. Um, yeah, I really, really love it. Yeah, I guess I'm fine. So we're sort of entering almost the business end of the season now. 
Premiership clearly up for grabs and cups as well. How are you feeling about the rest of the season, I guess, the rest of the squad? Yeah, I mean, as you say, I think, um, you know, we, we, we've still got plenty to work on. I think this weekend, uh, it's a great opportunity for us to go to, to um, play a side away um, at a ground that's, that's, you know, certainly not easy to go and win and against a side that's been so successful for, um, you know, a number of years now. So, so that's obviously the main focus for us as a group, um, how we can deliver a performance there um and then you know there are areas of the game we're, we're, we're still trying to grow and we've got plenty of opportunities coming up to do that um as you say so so whether it's europe um following this weekend or or back in the prem we want to we want to finish really strong and then that's um that's always been you know the, the sort of group we are so we'll be trying hard to do that but you know the first jobs to, to uh, get down to exeter and we're looking forward to it yeah very good so again yeah many many congratulations um Hopefully there's a bottle of champagne somewhere for you, uh, courtesy of Tops Tiles. Yeah. Um, really, really well done. A fantastic finish and very, very best wishes for the rest of the season. No, thank you very much. And thank you to Tops Tiles. Appreciate it. Cheers, Andrew. Cool. Cheers, guys. Thanks a lot. Yeah.